This video is here to save a life. Maybe yours, maybe your friends, maybe your supervisor or a crew boss and someone on your crew. Hi, my name is Stephen Falk and I'm the founder of Switchback. And what I have on the board here is what we call the four quadrants. Uh, in the four quadrant model, it's pretty self-explanatory. On the y-axis, you have rules, regs, and systems. Here's high and low. And on the x-axis, you have team and relationships, the high, high and low. And of course, if you're running a crew or you're trying to create a great family, uh, quadrant two is what you want to shoot for. That's where success lives. That's where high performance lives. In the, la in the world of, of wildland fire and forest, there is a huge population called the temporary seasonal worker. And this worker is really in a bind in that during the summer months, until they get that, let's say in the Forest Service, until they get their 1039 hours and they tap out, they are typically involved in pretty amazing, engaging work. So the work is challenging, there's team and all involved, and in many ways it, uh, their home life takes a back seat to the life that's happening on the fire or in the forest. Now that might seem okay. You know, people say, I want to work overtime. I want to stay with my, or your crew gets moved to a whole other state and you get your two days to three days off. You go, it's not even possible for me to visit my girlfriend or my boyfriend. So I'll just chill here, maybe drink in the bar and go back to work. Sounds good on paper, but the brain is like a muscle. Whatever you exercise gets stronger. Whatever you don't exercise gets weaker. So in that hypervigilance of the summer schedule of wildland fire and forestry, um, there is a fatigue that sets in and a recovery that's necessary. And when does that fatigue and recovery take place? It's the moment you finish. So you say high five to all your friends and away you go down the dusty road back to the, the, the life you maybe thought you had but you left it five, six months ago. So maybe on the, on the crew, you're one of these casual people, you know, that's a, and, and during the season and fire, you get up to two, or maybe you're a real rule keeper, but you know, they, they get to rub some of the rough edges off of you, and you actually warm up as a human being, you become a bit more relational, all the rest. So really great news that during your summer season, you're in this zone in quadrant two, living the dream, what we call like world-class culture. However, you tap out with your 1039 and boom, what happens? Let's assume for lots of people, this happens. This doesn't feel very good, does it? Drawing this arrow down towards three. Now on the bottom of three, the very bottom here is suicide. Here's chaos, here's pain. How many weeks do you think it takes for people when they start the process of, well, I'm just recovering because you know, that was, a, that was a crazy summer and we saw some crazy stuff. And so I just need to sit back, relax, recover. <laughs> and then maybe recover some more. And maybe recover a lot. The problem with off season is often people haven't been able to maintain and build their team and their relationships. And they haven't been able to build a sustainable system of rules and regs and a structure that's gonna keep them going in the off season. So the brain is like a muscle. Whatever you exercise gets stronger. Whatever you don't exercise gets weaker. So as a crew lead, or as with yourself, here's, here's, here's the truth of truth. Don't assume that you can transition from summer work to layoff to winter and maintain two. Two is very, quadrant two is very difficult to maintain even on a good, stable world. So when you're bringing in the crews this, this spring, getting ready for fire training and forestry training and all the rest, here's, here's the thought. Why not assume that everyone that's coming in has struggled in quadrant three at some point during the off season? Maybe not the whole time. Maybe they went through a dark night of the soul in December, but they picked themselves up in January. But rather than assuming that everyone is just like okie dokie and fine and the person that you saw last season is just showing up again exactly the same as they were at the end of the season, rather think to yourself and say, what would it be like for me as a leader to assume the worst? That my crew have gone through hard times during the off season. That they've lost some of their structure and their systems and their momentum that they haven't had as strong a team and relationships as they would have liked to. And coming from that foundational position, now you're gonna approach them with a very different attitude. 
you're going to have a level of compassion. You're going to have a level of care. You're going to have a level of kindness. I'm not saying let them slack off on you know the fitness rules and all the rest, but it's just the, a different look, and assume that it's, that your job as a leader within the U.S. Forest Service, within the Bureau of Land Management, the National Parks, Cal Fire, your job as a leader is to bring your crews back into team. And then the second job is during this summer, uh, why don't you build a culture where the talk on the alpha hours or when you're resting from your heavy, heavy work, that some of the talk is planning for the fall, planning for the off season, uh, helping people that are way too casual come up with a plan, helping people that tend to isolate build team into their plan in the fall. You know, at the end of the day, it's not going to be the fires we put out, it's not going to be the trees we plant, it's not going to be the parks that we maintain, it's not going to be the trails that we keep clear that are going to be the lasting legacies in our lives. I mean, those are going to be important for sure. Your biggest legacy is going to be the people that you work with, the people who work side by side, the people that you lead, the people that look up to you. So as a leader, as a really great team member, please consider Quadrant 2 as the place to save lives and recognize there are a lot of seasonal workers that are going to end up in Quadrant 3 during the off season. And it's our job and it's our calling to help them get back to two and find a way to live in two in the off season. Uh, we have a switchback and the rest of us in the team, we wish you great success. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, feel free to subscribe more to our videos either on YouTube or follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook. Thanks so much.